breaking news overnight. Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson has resigned after a series of scandals that caused dozens of his top government officials to abandon him. Senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is in London with the latest. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, George, good morning. It has been a breathless week in British politics. It began with the resignation of two senior government ministers over the latest political scandal to hit Boris Johnson. And that seemed to unleash a torrent of resignations from senior ministers, from government aides, more than 50 in total. Boris Johnson just came out, addressed the crowd here, addressed the nation, and as everyone expected, he's now gone. Overnight, Britain's Boris Johnson forced to give up the fight after his own party turned on him, no longer trusting him to lead the country. It is clearly now the will of the Parliamentary Conservative Party that there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new Prime Minister. The process of choosing that new leader should begin now. The British Prime Minister was badly wounded by so-called Partygate, a series of drunken gatherings at the official residence that broke pandemic lockdown rules. Johnson himself fined by the police, but determined to stay in power. But the final straw was a revelation that Johnson not only promoted a lawmaker who had a record of drunkenness and allegations of sexual misconduct, but that he lied, saying at first that he didn't know about it. The leader of the opposition Labour Party, scathing. Mr Speaker, isn't this the first recorded case of the sinking ships fleeing the rats? Yeah. Just hours ago, Johnson was remaining defiant. Will you be Prime Minister tomorrow? Uh, uh, of course. All amid a massive cost of living crisis hitting Britain hard. This morning, the pressure too much to take. My friends, in politics, no one is remotely indispensable. I know that there will be many people who are relieved and uh, perhaps quite a few who will also be disappointed. And I want you to know how sad I am to be giving up the best job in the world. But them's the breaks. Well, guys, this is an astonishing fall from grace for Boris Johnson, who was elected only in 2019, but in a huge election victory. He also managed to push Brexit through, but he was always surrounded by controversy. He, according to his critics, had an uncomfortable relationship with the truth, and eventually all of those things caught up with him. We now know that he's going, and Britain will start the search for the next prime minister. OK, Ian Panel, thanks very much. You know, Boris Johnson's reign was relatively short, but also very tumultuous and somewhat consequential. Remember, he led the fight to lead Britain out of the European Union, Brexit. I know, but he was so defiant about staying in office. He wanted to hold on, but it was mm -hmm. impossible. You had, I mean, you've never seen anything like this. Have mm -hmm. dozens of your own government right. ministers say, we are gone, we can't stand by you anymore. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA